Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing a Timu haul with you. I have quite a few items. So let's go ahead and jump right in. If you are new here, I just wanna say welcome to the channel. I hope that you enjoy the content here today. And just to kind of let you know, I do hauls on my channel, I do walkthroughs, and I do things having to do with junk journaling. So make sure you guys check out my content. You guys should hit subscribe if that sounds like something that you would be interested in. Make sure you give me a like if you enjoy hanging out with me today. Leave me a comment. I always love to hear from you. And don't forget to hit your notification bell. That way you are alerted anytime I have a new upload. Um, so then you know, you know, what is new and what is out. So the first thing I got here is this cute little garland now this you put together it is for i think it's garland that doesn't have a hole in it and neither does this one i have to look at the picture again but i got this because i was thinking it could be used either on like an easter wreath or you can put it on a tear tray or you can just use it as a garland but i thought it was really pretty it is on like a wood or chipboard type material um, but these are all of the things that come in the pack here comes with quite a bit of these comes with the cross I just thought it was really pretty. I thought that, um, you know, I love Easter time and I don't really like to decorate with, you know, the bunny and the chicks and the peeps and all that. I love all of the decor like that. I think it's super cute, but I would rather decorate with more biblical type things um, because that, it, you know, that's the reason we celebrate Easter. So I thought that this was really nice. So I went ahead and grabbed this. I will be putting all of the links down below if you guys are interested in seeing that, um, just to kind of make it easier for you guys to find these items. And those links, if you click on them, I do not get money from that. The next thing I grabbed is this binder here. And this came in a set. So I got the binder. And then I got the inserts. And there are several different links that you can choose from, but this one was an actual set and I thought that the price was really good. But these are pockets to put, um, you know, any type of crafting supplies. This pack here comes with a variety of sizes for your inserts, depending on what you're gonna be putting in here. I'm trying to separate them so that I can show you guys. Okay, so those are the same. And then I think, no, nope, these are different. So this one here has the two pockets. So it's this pocket here and the same size here. And then we have this one that has three pockets and they are smaller. So there's two pockets here on the top and then the one on the bottom. And these have little flaps that go over the opening. Some of them are kind of tucked in, but to close them, you would just put the little tabs on top there. And then, we have the really large one that has the tab on the top, the closure, and it's the whole page. So we have one, two, three, and then this one is the one that holds four. So here's a small one here, here, and then the same down here at the bottom. But I wanted to share with you, so to go along with that, I have a few die cuts that I picked up. I've been trying to widen my selection um, or my collection on die cuts so that I could start using my Big Shot. But I went ahead and picked up this set of numbers. So 
So we have these. And you would break these apart, I believe you would do them. Or can you? No, I think you break them apart, you guys. I'm new to the die cutting world, so this is all, <laughs> this is all new to me. Um, but once they are broken up, we can stick them in these little pockets here. Because, oh, or you can stick it in here. We'll just do this for now just to kind of share with you guys on how you would use these. Someone is doing work, my next door neighbor is doing work on their house. So I'm sorry if you hear some of the, the noise from their power tools. Um, it's kind of loud, so I do apologize. But there's also, we'll do this one. I also picked up this one and these look like they are like a slide type die cut. So you could turn them into slides, which are super cute. But you would just, Break these apart here. I'll get those off with my pliers later. Um, but these just go right. I wonder if this isn't gonna fit, I don't think. No, that one won't fit. Hmm, but this one will fit. So if I was really organizing this right now, I would have this one in here with this one and this I'd put over here. But see how cool that is? So I'll put these aside just so that I can continue the haul, but I did get those. I'm really excited to organize um, all of my die cuts. Now I have been reorganizing my craft room because I have been getting so much to add to my assortment. So I've really had to, um, you know, start organizing. So I'm happy to get that. So another one I picked up is this really pretty heart and it kind of gives me like a stained glass feel. So we have this one. You guys, I'm so sorry about this light. I tried to get natural light in here, but the sun is not sitting at the right place in my house. So, you know, it is what it is. But, um, so I have this one here. I also went ahead and grabbed this one. I'm hoping that I can make some of these and put them in my kits so that, you know, if you guys don't want to buy stuff like this and you want to purchase a kit with a variety and an assortment of stuff, you can. So I picked up this one here. So it has some like tags that you can attach to your page. This is like a folding folder type thing. See how it's the frame here. And then we have some words, specimens. See, this one would be really cool to put on the little slide die cut that I got. Um, and then we have these here, the little tags. Oh, this is a die, this is a slide as well, right here. I can't even remember. I have to look back at the pictures to see exactly what to do with these because, like I said, I'm new to this, doing die cuts, so. But I thought that these ones would be really fun to use. Another thing I went ahead and picked up are these really pretty trims. Now they do sell these at the Dollar Tree. I didn't see any pink, I don't think, and they look a little bit different. Um, but I went ahead and got this really pretty light pink and I got the purple here. So I thought that these would look nice for Easter or Valentine's Day, either or. I mean, they'll look good on any, um, any junk journal. It doesn't have to be for a specific holiday. It could be a prayer journal. It could be a floral journal. It could be a travel journal, whatever. I think that those would look cute anywhere. Another thing I went ahead and grabbed is this little pad of paper. It says groceries, dependable service. So they're like these little grocery lists. So we have that. Let me see, cause there are two different. And then we have this. I think that's it. Yeah, so those two different pages. The next thing that I picked up is this set of Valentine's Day stickers, and I just thought that this was really pretty. It looked vintage, 
so that is a plus. Um, so I'm going to lay them out and then I will zoom in for you guys so that you guys can see them up close. Here are all the stickers. I think that they're really cute. This one here, look at this. Doesn't this remind you of a junk journal? I love that. It just, it looks like a junk journal to me. So I think that that's really cute. Something else that I thought was really cool is this here. And it says that it is a, what, is, what are they calling it? Squeeze, no, that's not what it's called. I don't know, it doesn't have a name. But it's basically a little rubber or silicone um, container with a lid, perfect to do like your PVC glue with water, and then you can put a lid on it and it won't dry out. So I thought that that was kind of cool. And it came with these little stirs or applicators. I'm not sure what these are used for, but it just shows that they're using it with the glue. Maybe it's an applicator as well. They're brushes. These are brushes. Now, I don't know how well these would work on um, paper because they're rubber. I think the brushes make it a little more delicate than these, but I thought that this was kind of cool. So right now I'm using just like a little white dish and I have those little silicone lids that stretch out over the top and that's what I'm using to cover it. And it works well, but I just thought that this was so much more handy and it is a little bit smaller, which I like because I don't use a whole lot of that glue. So I wanted to grab this. I went ahead and picked up or ordered these little calendar stickers. They're for 2024. I thought that these would be kind of fun to put into a journal from this year. Maybe if I'm journaling in March, I can put the March calendar on one of the pages. So I thought that that was kind of fun. These are stickers. So I went ahead and grabbed this. Now for Valentine's Day, I saw these napkins and I thought that these were really adorable. So I had to get them and I could not choose. I think that they had one more. I think it was like Be Mine or something, but I really loved this one that says, Hug Me. It comes with so many of them. You could decoupage these onto a page or turn them into a pocket or use them for a Valentine's Day party. Um, I'm also gonna be putting together a love journal for myself and my husband, so I'll definitely use these in there as well. Um, and if you do journaling every day and you're just putting in things specific for that day, say yourself and your spouse goes out on a date or to a movie or on a drive or wherever, you can always even use these in that if you have pictures with, you wanna add like a picture or something with your grandkids or your own kids, these would be really cute to put on there as well. Um, it doesn't just necessarily have to be for Valentine's Day, right? So, oh, these are a little bent, but I picked up the Love You ones as well. So these are the three different ones that I chose. Again, I think that they have a B mine, but I just really liked these. Oh wow, it is so windy outside. I'm not sure if you guys hear it, but um, but these I thought were so pretty. They look so elegant and I mean, look at their clothes, their hair, their makeup. They remind me of paper dolls. You could probably cut some of them out. The ones like maybe and use them as ephemera or something like that or frame them somehow, stick them in a pocket. I thought that these were just very, very elegant looking, super pretty. So I grabbed these. I kind of wish I grabbed more of these. Maybe I'll go back on and buy some more. I wanted to get some hardware for my journals to start putting on the back of the spine so that I can, um, to start decorating the spine a little bit more. So I saw that um, Timu had these. Sorry, you guys, I'm like thinking and trying not to cut the bag, but I think I might have. But I saw Timu had these, so I got them in different colors. 
or different metals. So they have like a brad on it to put it through the back of the spine. So it has this hoop and I really like this decorative piece here as well. I think that's really pretty. So we have just the gold or like a brass color. This is like a brushed gold or um, like a bronze color kind of. And then the last one is just a silver. You guys, I am so sorry about that noise. And I debated on doing this on another day, but I've been organizing, like I said, the craft room. And so I, it's the weekend and I'm trying to get stuff done because during the week I try to focus on my, um, you know, the homeschool with the kids. And then I focus on my eBay store. And so the weekend is normally, you know, hanging out with the family, doing something, and then trying to get my Better Buys channel stuff done. So it's just super busy. So I just, I can't put it off anymore. So I'm sorry, randomly, if you hear them, you know, working in their yard or on their home, I'm not sure what they're doing, but it's noisy and I feel bad. Um, okay, so that, is that I picked up two of these I've picked these up before they were for like a cinema pack for the movies and I really thought that they were cute and I liked them so I went on and I ordered these ones okay so this one is travel records I love these little pouches that they come in super cute um, but these are just little airline boarding tickets or boarding passes and they do look different. So we have that set here and then we have this one next. Here are the five different designs that come in this one pack. So I thought that these were pretty cool. You can add them into any junk journal, but they would really be cool in a traveling junk journal. And then this one here is a restaurant ticket. So these would really be fun in Valentine's Day ones. These ones would be cool if you were doing like some sort of love journal. Also, these would be really cute in just an everyday journal. This one this one reminds me of like an amusement park or something. This here reminds me of like a sign at like Disneyland or something for some reason. I have no idea why, but it does. <laughs> I really like how they did this type of cut on these little vouchers. I think that that's pretty cool for tickets. So that comes from this pack. Another thing I went ahead and grabbed is just this little heart paper punch. It's really small. I wonder how well this works. Let me grab a piece of paper. All right, so I just grabbed a flash card or an index card. Oh, that's not bad. That was pretty easy. So here is 
the little tiny heart. But isn't that so cute if you wanna do like little confetti in a shaker card or glue a couple little pieces of a different color heart to a piece of paper or put it on ephemera or put it on a collage, anything like that, that would be really adorable. So I grabbed that. I also, since I have my new die cutting machine and um, I'm getting all my die cuts, I really thought that I would need this brush for the intricate type of things that I would be cutting. So, uh oh, I just ripped it, that's okay. So here is the little foam pad and then it comes with this brush here. What does it do? Oh. What is that? How do you, what do you do? How do you get that? Oh, maybe one at a time. Hello, Liz, I'm, <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. I don't know, sometimes I make really easy things difficult. I don't understand why. Now I don't know how to put it back. Does that push? No, maybe you use, oh, there you go. You push the other one. Okay, so we have the, like pointy tool and then we have this like scraper tool not sure what it's called but we'll just go with it and then we have the actual brush that rolls it's a decent size it feels pretty decent the pad is pretty thick so I don't know I think that that'll work great I have no idea I have never used it so but I don't see why it wouldn't work you know what I mean so I grabbed that. I picked up a few paper packs. So I went ahead and grabbed this one. It just says Valentine's Day hearts on the package. I don't think these have doubles. So we actually have 12 pieces and these are six by six. So here are the 12 different designs. This set here is called Retro Flower. Guys, I'm so sorry about the lighting. I keep trying to move um, my lights. The sun is going down, so it's, you know, it's on the table. It just, you know, it's an ordeal. My house doesn't really get great lighting, so it makes it hard to follow the sun, you know what I mean? And I don't have a whole lot of windows in my house, so I don't have a whole lot of natural light which is like not great when you're putting up videos, but I try. Okay, so here are the 12 pages that are in this pack. So I think that they're really pretty. They come with a really good variety of flowers and hearts. So I think that that's kind of cool. And I also like how they have the writing behind some of the design. Which I think is really pretty. Went ahead and oh that one's not really easily seen so let me take this out and I'm going to get a paper so you can see it. All right so we'll just use this paper but we have it's upside down we have this stencil. Oh wow, you could, there we go. I'm sorry, you guys could see my ring light. Um, but isn't that really pretty? I thought that that was kind of cool. So I went ahead and grabbed that one. Make sure you guys are looking at sizes when you guys are purchasing from Timu. I say that often in my videos because I always, <laughs> I kind of skipped that part, so I'm telling you because you'll think you're getting something smaller and it's big or you're getting something big and it comes really small, but they do have it listed. Now, when I got mailed this, it was bent. 
see how it has that crease so that's kind of a bummer but I think I could still make it work maybe I could use my heat gun and then put it underneath something really heavy um, but this one says postcard and then it has this looks kind of like a clock or something some floral some little coffee rings or you can turn them into coffee rings we have butterflies and flowers this one is a really large size so um, but you could do it in sections which would be kind of cool and then this one I really am enjoying stenciling that's why I picked up quite a few of them I think it goes this way and this one is just script and it looks like it has like a stamp of some sort on it, but some sort of script. So I thought that was really pretty. And then the last stencil type item, this isn't really, well, I guess it's a stencil. I guess you could call it a stencil. Um, but this one, let me get it out of the bag and I'll show you. It's really cool. Now I have such a hard time with making things straight. What it is, is it is like this plastic with these cuts. It's so hard to share here. I'll put a picture up for sure. But they have like these slits and that's where you would put your pencil or whatever you're using and um, use this as your guide. But it helps you keep things straight. So say I wanted to do journaling, um, writing on a page, but I wanted lines on it. I could use this as my template. The next thing I got here is like a movie ticket packet. These are not all the same. I thought that they were. Um, but here is the front. So in order to keep the soul quiet, a person has to do two things he doesn't like every day. What? Do your best to search for all the gentleness hidden in life in the unhappy days. Okay, so MM movie, MMM, I don't know. I love movie or, what is it this or I love movie? I don't get it. I don't know you guys, but I thought that, <laughs> I thought these tickets were cute. And then we have this one here. And then this one here. And that's it. So it has the three different designs in there. I also went ahead and picked up this pack here of vintage retro labels, tags, and advertisements. So these are stickers. I have something on me. Again, I will definitely be using this little piece here because that's adorable. So I'm gonna lay out all of these because there is a lot on the desk so that you guys can see them. Here are all of the stickers. Now there were, I think, three of each. So these are the designs, but you have all of these because they came in threes. So that is a lot of stickers. These are really cool. They look vintage. I love the vintage look. I think that it's really, really pretty. Um, I love everything old, I think that's why. So I've always liked older items. I don't know, I'm very sentimental and stuff like that. So maybe that's why. Um, but that is this one pack. I also went ahead and picked up this ribbon here. It is very bright, but it reminds me of back in the day. I thought Easter, um, Valentine's Day. It looks kind of, it reminds me of like bubble gum or something. So it could be in any type of colorful journal. If you're just working on a really colorful, maybe a kid journal or something like that, this would be really cute. Uh oh, it's kind of messed up there. That's okay. I'll cut it off. It smells a little weird. This smells a little weird to me, but so I thought that that was pretty because it's like a two tone it has like white and pink sewn together thought that that was pretty and this is a sewing washi which I thought was really cool um, I'm going to be doing junk journals you guys always talk about what I'm going to be doing and <laughs> 
it is going to take me years to get through what I want to get through. You know what I mean? With life and, you know, the kids and working and it's just hard to do it all, you know? So I talk about doing all these things, but I really will get to them one day. Um, if this was a job, then I'd be able to do it. But this is a hobby and I love it. I love everything about it. Okay, I'm almost done. <laughs> that was a challenge. So that is the design of the washi. I love it. I love it. They even have a thimble. They have a button. I just think that look at the vintage sewing machine. I love the color. It does feel pretty sticky. So that's a good sign because I'm always worried about the washies not being sticky enough. I even glue some of them sometimes, um, but that one feels really sticky. I went ahead and grabbed this one. That is what the pack has. I like how they do that. Um, these I don't think are stickers. I think you have to glue these. Yeah, you have to glue these. So again, I'm just going to lay these out here. And um, you guys can look at them after. So wait, I didn't even say why I was getting sewing stuff. So I wanted to get sewing junk journaling things because I'm going to be making junk journals for my husband and his siblings and um, their kids and my kids, of course, of their grandmother who just passed away. So she loved sewing, she loved crocheting, she loved crafts. She, I mean, she was just so creative. I think she loved just about everything. She loved making dolls, um, their clothes for dolls. She was just very crafty. Um, I did a lot of my crafting when I was younger with her, like in my, you know, early 20s. And um, she was just such a wonderful woman. She had such a good heart. She just loved the people she loved. You know what I mean? She loved really hard. And she would do anything for any of them. And, and, and me. She loved me. I loved her like she was a mom to me. Um, she taught me many things. And um, she was somebody that I could talk to whenever I needed to talk. She never judged she was just like it, you know, if something was going on between myself and my husband, boyfriend at the time, like she never chose sides. She always just met in the middle and helped us figure out how to fix the problem. She was just such a great woman. And so I wanted to make this like a junk journal for each of them with just all of her things. She has a lot of material and buttons and beads and um, lace and ribbons. I mean, she has everything you guys. So I'm going to be using her stuff in their junk journals, but as far as ephemera, I'm going to be adding some things to it. So I thought getting some of this stuff would be, um, a good addition to that. She also loved like carousel horses and, um, she collected stuff like that. So I'll be sure to find stuff like that to add as well. But that is why I picked this up and isn't it gorgeous? I love them. These look like they're like gold leaves. That's pretty cool. Okay, long story. Sorry about that, but um, okay, so let's move on. Something else I grabbed is this Valentine's Day kit. Now these are more like a chipboard um material but look at how adorable so it's supposed to be garland but i mean if you guys know me i'm going to turn this into junk journaling this would be so perfect on a cover of a junk journal so they do have doubles i'm seeing here or triples or 
maybe four of each, but look at how adorable these are. I can't even, I, re I really cannot even. These are just too much for me. So cute. I literally love everything about these. Everything. I don't think I have any of the doubles up there, but look, you guys, look at these. But look at those. I mean, just look at those. And then we have all of these, but perfect for a cover. Look, I mean, I don't even know. The next pack I got is this other Valentine's Day pack. It comes with this little plastic needle and this ribbon to use this as garland. But again, these look like vintage. These, are they double-sided? Yeah, they're double-sided. So it's on both sides, which is pretty cool. There are doubles. And then you have all of these here for the doubles. So that's a good amount as well. I picked up another one of these here. And they come with stickers. These are, I think they come with three. Oh, how cute is this? This is Santa Fe and Disneyland Frontierland Freight. Oh my gosh, I love that. Frontierland, you know, at Disneyland that like for the Thunder Mountain ride. Oh, that's the best ride. That's my favorite ride at Disneyland. So those are the stickers and then these are all of the duplicates. So pretty good variety. Next thing that I grabbed, I picked up two packs of this specific one, but they are like love words basically or quotes. Again, save your guys' packaging. Really cute. I'll put that in there just because it's really cute. But we have all of these different words and um, quotes or sayings, sentences. I'm kind of afraid to read some of these because <laughs> if you know Timu, some of the things that they have written, I don't know, they're just crazy to me. They make no sense to me at all. Um, so I kind of just get stuff for the looks. Now these are important to kind of have meaningful words that make sense because it's going to you know, it, there's no picture. This is literally what it is, is the words. So hopefully these make sense because the ones that don't, I typically find on like the food, um, pictures, stickers and stuff like that, that have illustrations with it. So I don't care too much because I'll just cover up the words. But with something like this, I mean, you buy it for the actual words. So let's see here. Um, being deeply loved by someone gives you strength while loving someone deeply gives you courage. Very true. Love all, trust a few, do wrong to none. That is, that's 100% true right there. Love is that condition in which the happiness of another person is essential to your own. Yes. You know you're in love when you can't fall asleep because reality is finally better than your dreams. Oh, that's so cheesy, but I love it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm cutting it off. I have to. Love looks not with the eyes, but with the mind and therefore is winged Cupid painted blind. Oh, that's cute. Okay. As he read, I fell in love the way you fall asleep slowly and then all at once. Okay. This has to be my favorite pack with words from them so far. I think that those are really cool. I like all of those. So I'm excited about these. The next thing I have here is a pack of paper. And I love everything floral. I'm gonna zoom out. I 
So I love everything floral. So I wanted to pick these up. I could use them for anything really. Any junk journal I want to. These I think are eight by eights. Did I say the other ones were six by sixes? I think that they're eight. I should measure these real quick. They look like eight though to me. These do not have duplicates. But those are super pretty. Let me get my together. Oh no, they are six. Man, why did they look bigger to me? I don't know guys, I don't know. But these are really pretty. And there are different tones of pink, which I like. Like this one's kind of like a peach color, which is pretty. And then the next paper pack I got is this one. This is just all of the pages. Now you can totally use this as well, like cut this and use this for collaging. I think that that would be really smart. I'll probably do that. Um, this is a much bigger pack. There are duplicates here. So we have 12 different designs in this pack as well, but we do have duplicates. So there's 24 pages in this pack. You guys look at how cute that is and that. Look at, I, I love these. So these kind of remind me more Valentine's, but these can definitely be for anything. I love those. All right, so next up, I went ahead and got this pack. I always like using this type of stuff in my junk journal. You can use them as journaling pages or just you can rip them. You can use them as ephemera or honestly collaging with them would be kind of cool. I love the color. It has that pink vintage look to it. All the stamping number is the same. That does not change on each page. It's the same, but I grabbed that. I also went ahead and picked up this pack of stickers. They're ticket stickers. I love using these again. Um, they just add, you know, a whole lot to your, your book. I feel like it's easy to collage with these or if you have an empty space in your junk journal, this is like perfect to add to it. So here are all of the cinema tickets. You guys, I think every single one of them are different if they change the color with the different image or the writing, the text, how they have the tickets laid out. I just, these are really, really cool. So this is all for cinema. I wanna see if they have other packs of these tickets, but for other, um, like a, another theme, maybe like amusement parks or plays or I don't know you guys, but maybe they have more, but I think that these are really nice. You know what I wanted to ask you guys is what you guys put all of your stickers in. Do you keep them in the little plastic pouches and just put them like in a little organizer? Do you guys take them out and put them in a different type of organizer? Let me know down in the comments because I really am trying to organize the best way and um, it's kind of hard. So, all right, the next thing I went ahead and picked up is this little pad of paper. There are no stickies on it. It's not like a post-it. It's literally just pieces of paper. They are all the same. I grabbed that one and I also grabbed this one. I thought that I grabbed two different colors, but I must have picked up the same color. I wish I did another one. I think they had like pink and blue, um, but these again are the same as well throughout this whole pack, but look at how many are on there. So that'll last me forever. Um, which is hard because I like new things. I don't like using the same exact things. So having this many of them, you know, I, I don't know, it makes it hard. So let me see. I also picked up this little pack of stickers. 
It is on like a clear backing, which I really love, especially when you are collaging. Um, but I do have some that are similar, but not the pink. There's more in here, I'm not gonna pull them out. But these I think are pretty much the same. Like there's not a huge variety of them, but there's enough. But I thought that these were really pretty. There's probably duplicates in here, but I'm just trying to share with you guys the best I can. There's those, and I also have some more in here. Another thing I grabbed is this. This is little strawberry stamps. I forgot to turn on my ring light, you guys. Um, so here are all of these cute little strawberry stamps. So these are all of the stamps. They have duplicates. They are more of like a glossy texture and these are stickers. So that makes it easy. So they're a sticker, really cute. And it comes in this really cute little package here. Again, you can definitely use the packaging. So look at how pretty this packaging is. I took the page out already, but see the plastic? So I'm gonna cut this paper off here and use this part of the packaging. But this is what came in that. It's called Midnight Rose. It's 10 pieces of these really pretty heart doilies. Um, so they are all different designs and different shaped hearts. Oh, look at that. This one's kind of cute. It's different. I love how they have the writing. Oh, you can't see that. I love how they have the writing behind that there. I think I have to zoom out on my camera so you guys could see all of them. That one looks cool, it looks aged. It's kind of rubbed. But again, that is called Midnight Rose. Another thing I grabbed are these cool little cards. You're supposed to be able to fold them and they're supposed to sit. But I was thinking that you can use this as a little, I don't know, what is that called? You could use it as something, or you can have this bottom part glued down and this could sit to where you can open it. Oh, wait a second, you can't open it because the heart wouldn't be able to open all the way. It would only be able to open to here. Oh man, I wonder how else you could do this unless, oh, then it's sideways. Cause I'm like, oh, you know what you could do? Put it on the end of a page, like at the top, and this part could be little tags outside of the page and then you can open it and it has somewhere to go off the edge of the book. I think that would work. I don't know, but isn't that cute? So it's this design here. Here, I'll just lay the designs out for you guys to see. That's it. So it comes with the four different designs. And then you have these here. Does it come with three? I think it comes with three of each. So not bad. So 12 of them. So I went ahead and grabbed this pack. Now this is a glossy pack, which I wish it wasn't, but I'm not huge on the glossy stickers. I guess, you know what? These are kind of cute. I don't think I could say anything bad about them because I think they're kind of cute. I would just distress them, I think.
I'm sorry about the glare. You can see a glare on some of these. So there's that one. So you don't see that. I wonder if I block it. No, it's still there. That's what those look like. Where else is there a glare on these ones? Here's these. And then, I don't know about these ones. You might be seeing a glare on these. So a lot of choices, no duplicates. So that is this pack. Also went ahead, this is the last pack. I got two packs of the same. Um, it came with these little jute strings to attach them. They're like little ornaments, or you can turn them into garland if you wanted to. But they are just these paper cutouts. They are double-sided. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. I hope that you all enjoyed this haul. I hope you guys saw some items that you liked. I will have the items linked down below. And that is it for today's video. Thanks again for hanging out. Be sure to hit that subscribe if you haven't already. And be safe, be blessed, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.